are you logging into Rainbow Six Siege, but then you see this error message that says user profile loading failed? If this happened to you, I know how to fix it. When you click on OK, will it play the cutscene for you? And when you get into the game, will all of your situations be incomplete and all of your customization on your weapons be gone? And whenever you make any changes, they will just disappear the next time you log on, and you're just like... <laughs> the solution to this is simple. First, you're going to want to go to the settings button on the top right of your screen, and click on quit to desktop. You need to make sure that your game is fully exited out. Then when you are on your desktop, you want to go into your file explorer and click on this PC or my PC. You're going to want to go to your drive and go on to program files 86. You're going to want to scroll down to Ubisoft, go into Ubisoft Game Launcher, go into Save Games, click on that folder and then copy and paste both of these folders onto your desktop. This is a very important step because if you do not do this, you will lose all of your data. Then go back in the file explorer and delete both of these folders. Once these folders are deleted, go into your search bar and Type in Uplay. Right click on it and run as administrator. Then click yes and it will launch Uplay. You're going to want to go into the settings tab and disable these two boxes. Now launch Rainbow Six Siege. A screen will pop up that says in-game overlay disabled. You're just going to want to ignore that and click on launch game. When you get into the game, it will play the cutscene again and you're just going to want to skip it. When you get into your game, you want to go to the operators tab on the top left of your screen. Make a change to any operators loadout. This includes adding a site, an attachment, or even a weapon camo. Then go into the play tab, go into situation, and play through an entire situation. This ensures a good save to your game. Once this is complete, go into that settings tab on the top right and quit the desktop again. Now you're going to want to go back into Uplay and re-enable those two boxes. Then click on the button that says Restart Uplay. Once Uplay is restarted, reopen Rainbow Six Siege. A screen will pop up that says which save game you want to use and choose Local Save Game. This is another very important step. Now that you're in Rainbow Six Siege, that screen will not pop up, and then when you enter, you still won't have any of your situations or operator loadouts, but after a few days of playing, it will all come back. But we're not done yet. You're going to want to go back into your file explorer. and put those two folders that you copied onto your desktop back in. Replace the file in this destination and the other one you just put back in. This is all your data to make sure that your data will come back after a few days of playing. If you have this problem and this helped you out, please drop a like on the video and subscribe.